Hey, my students run a little tiny bit late. Sorry about that. Uh, so uh, write down the uh, one, two, and what you kind of this, and I'm going to move it over there. I want you to turn the video off and do it. So did you turn it off and do it? Okay, now finish writing the rest. Then do those four problems. Then turn me back on. Yeah. Okay, so let's do it. Distributive property. This goes to both terms. So that'd be minus 3x, negative 3 times minus 6, minus minus plus 18. So now, okay. So distribute the 5, 5x minus 15. Minus 4 times x is minus 4x. And minus a minus 2 is plus 2. So 5x minus 4x is x. And minus 15 plus 2 would be minus 13. When one's positive and one's negative, you subtract and keep the sign of the bigger one. So 15 is bigger. Okay, this one we combine 5x minus 10x is minus 5x. And 6 plus, oh, sorry, forgot the x. 6 plus 2 is 8. Percent. Now we'll probably have 1 or 2 percent problems. The next week really will be like starting over. So tomorrow get all this done. So I have 6 of the 15 Star Trek statues. Oh, what percent do I have? So 6 is the part I have. 15 is the total. Then X over hard. Trixie, stay down. See, you guys wanted to see Trixie, my dog. So uh, now I've got problem. 600 equals 15X. Divide by 15. So it's forte. Okay, here's now the next problem. Again, uh, write down uh, this one and this one, and I'll move it over. For you to read it, a bag of marbles with 10 green, 6 black, and 2 orange uh, don't replace. So what's the probability I pull out a black, and then I pull out an orange? And what's the probability I pull out an orange, green, and then orange? So turn it off, see if you can figure out that problem for me. I'd appreciate it. So probability you pull out a black... There's six black out of 18 marbles times when you're pulling out another item, you multiply. Now notice since there's don't replace the marble, that one of the blacks is now gone and you have five blacks. So we're down to 17 and there's two orange. So if we reduce this, six goes into there three times. Multiply straight across, it would be 2 over 51. Then, Trixie, stop that. Mercy, sorry about that, my kids. So orange, let's start at the beginning. So 2 out of 18 marbles. So one of the marbles is now gone. So there's 17, and we haven't pulled out a greenie, so that would be 10 times but one of the orange is now gone so it's one out of 16 because I've already thrown two marbles away then we can reduce this a little bit two goes in 18 nine times uh, 10 uh, two goes into both of those that would be eight and uh, five so here we go. Now I got a little problem. 1 times 5 times 1, I can do 5. But 8 times 9, let's see, that's 72 times 17. That's 14, so that'd be 504. Put a 0, 2, 7. So if I've done this correctly, it's 12, uh, 24. Might have made a boo-boo there. Left my calculator in the other room, so we'll just have to live with that. Now, next set of problems. Here's my two functions, f of x and g of x. Write those two down, then write that problem down, that problem down, then I'll move this over after you turn it back on. Oh, Trixie? Trixie. Okay, good. 
So, okay, here's this problem. The domain of f is these three numbers find the range. So do those five problems. Okay. Ain't this fun. So f, so we're going to put 3 squared plus 3. So that'd be 9 plus 3 is 12. G of 7, so we'd go 2 times 7 minus 6 goes into G. So 14 minus 6 is art. Now the domain, so what this means is what's F of negative 6, what's F of 0, and what's F of 5. So F of negative 6, that would be negative 6 squared, or plus a negative 6 if you want to do it that way. So this would be 36 minus 6, which is 30. Then f of 0 would be 0 squared plus 0, which is 0. And f of 5 would be 5 squared plus 5, just putting it into this function right here, f. So that would be 25 plus 5 is 30. So, ooh. Isn't that neat? We have a tie, 30. So my range would just be 0, 30. By the way, when you're doing a sit, you have to do it with these weird braces. Parentheses means ordered pairs. Okay, last but not least. So write these, turn this off, write these two problems down. Then I'm going to move it so you write the other problem down. There we go. That's a long one. So do those three, Trixie, gosh dang it. Okay, see you guys want this dog, and about to drive me nuts. So let's do this problem. Seven minus, can't do anything, minus is the lowest level. I could distribute the five if I wanted to, or simplify, because it's grouping is really more higher order than multiplying. So this would be, 7, negative 5 times minus 3 is plus 15. So that would be, ouch, <laughs> 20, uh, 22. Okay, this one, minus lowest order. So I got to do the dividing, then I do multiplying. So this would be 6 minus 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So, two, last but not least. So three, and then four minus two is two, and we have to square it. So that would be four minus six minus, uh, was that three minus seven? Can't hardly read this. Let's bring it up. There we go. 3 minus 7 is minus 4. So 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Minus and minus is plus. Minus, minus, minus 1, minus 6 is minus 7. So that would be negative 3. Hard problem. So there's our five topics for the test tomorrow. I'm probably going to give you all hour, but you have been so kind. So here we go. There's me doggy. Let's look at him. Hey, how you doing there, Trissy? I'm okay. Well, now you've seen Trixie. I better get going. Ooh, Trixie just fell. You got a little hurt. Ooh, wiggle your tail. Well, let's put Trixie back to sleep. So, okay, anyways. Hey, I hope you're doing great on this. Don't forget, I'm before school, I'm in 111 or APR if you want help. Be glad to help you.